Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick little video on uh, refueling and oiling chainsaws. I know this video has been done a thousand times, it's beating a dead horse, but uh, just, you know, you know it, pass on, I get it, but somebody had asked me, you know, if there's any particular methods, procedures, this is what I do, this is how I do it, why I was taught this way, I don't know. Um, on like your uh, caps, I always carry a little brush of some kind, parts brush, and give them a quick dust off, you know, before I open them. I dust a lot of things around it just to make sure that I'm not getting anything. I crack it a little bit if I can. Boy, I should have done that before I got on camera. It's in there pretty tight. There we go. Once I crack it a little, I go ahead and dust it out a little bit more. And I actually keep dusting it loose. Take it to the side. If there's debris in there, I usually try to wipe that off with my finger to make sure it's not getting down in there. Um, for bar oil, I use an old gear lube jug has a little nozzle on it. It's easy, doesn't spill. Of course, I'm not going through five gallons at a time a day, but I will show you what I do do with the gallon jugs here in a minute when I do use a gallon jug. This takes forever here. Hold on, got a daughter coming, pause. So I got a little helper. Helper, can you say hi? Hi. Hi, what's your name? Your name's Anna. What name? Yes. What? What's your name? Daddy. What's so. Your name? <laughs> Let's not go over the name game. <laughs> Anyways. What is that? Put a little cap in it. Voila. Done. What Seal that up. That? Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I move to the gas. Yeah. Again, brush it off. Uh-huh. You helping? No. No? Okay. What is that? Open it up. Watch your eyes. Step back a little, okay? What? You don't want to get in any of the sawdust in your eyes, babe. Because it will hurt. You don't want things in your eyes. Again, I just kind of brush around a little bit. If you get goop in your eyes, yeah, it'll hurt. You don't want goop in your eyes. So, you can see there's a little bit of debris right there on the edge. Yeah. I go ahead and clean it off. Mm. But one thing I do like is uh, these no-spill cans, no-spill jill, whatever you want to call them. There you go. I always mix my fuel, just give it a shake. I know that this day and age you don't have to because whatever it doesn't separate like it used to but it's a habit release the air out of there these are nice because you can just fill them up and never have to worry about it so. and done uh, it's not spilling still holding the button nice and top it off and hit it again boom and it's over. So if you don't hit it twice, you don't overflow. Just to show how touchy it is. Then if I do have a spill, I make sure that I clean it all up. Um, I usually will put it at an angle here into a rag. Then I can use that rag to clean up other things and stuff. But anyways, that's how I do that. Next I'll show you my gallon jugs on how I do those. So this is how I do my one gallon jugs. Uh oh, something echo. Uh, anyways, I uh, poke a little hole at the top. I leave this on and then open up the bottom here and that causes it to air. Pours a lot more controlled that way. Um, a lot less chance for spills, messes, things like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Like I said, I know this has been going over. I know this is information that a lot of guys already have and already know 
um, but just thought I would throw my own out there how I do things it's nothing special don't have to follow it uh, just my way anyways talk to you later bye